welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others hi youtube viewers welcome back to my next video on vhdl lines so in this video we are going to tell i am going to tell you about task and function in verilog okay so it's not vhdl so vhdl language is our like our cha channel name so if you have not subscribed my channel and if you are watching for the first time then you can subscribe the channel below press that red color bell icon red color icon and turn it it like in gray color so that's the thing you require so let us start our topic today's topic is like task and function this topic i have got when i sold one projects okay so at that time they have asked me to make the project in function so they require that uh, that project in function so then i got to study about these functions and then we have like studied about it and then we have come to a conclusion why we can't make anything as a function so let us start with this small concept small topic it is like a small topic but we neglect it okay so let us start we will discuss about task in verilog okay then about functions difference between task and function and then we'll see an one one examples of task and one example of a function then we'll conclude it with the what to implement and what are the advantages and disadvantages of task and function and both of them have some quite good features of it. okay so let us start with a task a task is nothing but in a very log code we a digital designer who wants to implement an ic he uses his task and it is very easy and reusable we can use multiple number of times you can able to see and you can able to see that uh, there are some rules for implementing a task the task may have number of any number of inputs and any number of outputs n number of inputs and n number of outputs you can have okay so the inputs and outputs can be uh, written in any way and indicate how should be wired up and everything can be implemented in any way okay however you can call the wires and however wherever you want you can write it and it also have a timing delay means you can write at always at the rate of positive edge of clock means behavioral level of modeling can be implemented by using your task behavioral you can tell structural you can tell anything you can implement using your task a task can call a function also okay task can call a functions also what is this function we will look into it we'll uh, we'll see that what is a function and you can remember now a task can call a functions also task can drive global variables means a task is written inside a code and it can access globally variables also globally defined variables also we'll see with an one example of global variables how it can drive and all we'll see look into it okay so variables can be declared inside a task that is nothing but it is known as local okay local variables it is known as task can use non blocking and blocking assignments whenever you implement some functions uh, whenever you implement some code in function and if you want to write in behavioral level modeling then there will be a issue called non blocking statements are assigned so those kind of statements can can be overlooked by using task whenever you implement those things in task okay that can be removed task can be done automatically because here both inputs and outputs are declared you can directly give the inputs to this task means it is nothing but you can tell it like as a test bench kind of thing in verilog we write a test bench right we give randomly we give inputs and we can we get the output same kind of thing can be used here in task okay that's the beauty of the task and also the beauty is like in behavioral level modeling also can be done using task well well whereas commenting to functions you can able to see there are more limitations in this functions have more limitations than task see first thing you can't use the statements which are like hash means delay for delay we'll use ha hash kind of thing right so that can be can't be used or at the rate always at the rate of positive edge of clock we write it right that can't be used again wait here wait for 10 seconds so we'll write it right so that can't be used so this can't be used in inside a function a single statement can be used a data level modeling or you can able to go with a structural level modeling gate level modeling that can be done by using your functions okay so that doesn't have any delay kind of thing okay or it should not wait for some other thing to become and then to implement those kind of thing can't be done in functions okay so functions cannot enable task okay function in inside a function if you are willing to call the task and the, to perform that and then you need to come here and you can you need to do the function again so that can't be done here right now in functions a function must be defined and at least one input should be there for a function argument okay at least one input should be given to a function and also you can able to see function definition must include an assignment
element of function values which are written means nothing but function written something okay function written something and that how that value is written and how those uh, how to write that function code that is uh, what I call it as a like mm, it's a like you can tell it as procedure okay procedure or protocol which protocol it use or you can tell it as like how it looks function how it looks like and that can be seen in our example kind of thing okay function cannot contain in out that is very important a function cannot contain in out or output declarations only input are accepted here whereas in task you can have your inputs and outputs both no worries and you can go with your behavioral level modeling no worries and here but it has some limitation those are this are all the limitations you go with your functions okay so let us go for the next slide where we will compare with have a small example let us see here if you see in task this is a task kind of thing task task example and this is like your function example if you see in task you can able to see that I am implementing 4 is to 1 max where Q is my output input is 1 in and your selection line okay so input is like 3 bit and selection line is like 2 bits this is 4 bits and 2 bits and output output always declare as a register as usual I have told you right so always at the rate of here you can able to see task always at the rate can be implemented okay behavioral level modeling can be implemented so in our selection line max this is a kind of it may be a task or it may be a function kind of thing depending upon how you have written the code depending upon that you can you need to tell it is a task okay max is a task where you need to we are giving inputs and outputs also in task we can write both the things right inputs also and outputs also and you can able to see here behavioral level of modeling is done here cases cases can be implemented only in behavioral level modeling as i told you in my previous videos so cases can be done here and also let me go back and also you can able to see inputs is declared as in you have got one input and here we got a selection line and also here like output we have declared here out you can able to see out is nothing but your Q right here Q is nothing but your Q is directly connected to in in is directly connected to this one and second one is connected to this okay so one by one one by one you need to write means the first point which we they have told order of inputs or output type in indicates how should be wired up and when it should be called that order this is first one second one third one this is the order you need to write it down okay inputs and outputs and this is the thing cases you can able to see the cases selection line depending upon your selection line you will be having your outputs here I have given 1 2 3 4 and you have in the case and then in the task so that's all for the task this is how you have write the code this is the syntax what I call okay now let us see the syntax of a function function with an example here register I have declared as a one bit register here also one bit and register here also with one bit and we have a wire called result and register R it is nothing but a global variable so wire directly it jumps here and comes assign w of result nothing but your wire which I have declared is equal to do math this is a function or a task it may be right do math it may be a function or a task depending upon the program how we have written okay you can able to say do math is a function so function with only inputs we have to declare no outputs can be declared in a function right so that is the thing you can able to see r bit 1 and r bit 2 and r bit 3 are inputs those are declared and here it goes directly and you can able to see input we have got and this is is nothing but your local variable and this is nothing but your global variable we are accessing this global variable inside a function okay here that case is not present here right global variables and local variables kind of concept is not present here here it, there is a global variables we have taken the global way we are accessing the global variables and we are defining something or which is defined we can use it okay nothing but here we got like v temp is equals to we have done an and operation and we can able to see function with what the thing you have written here it's a you can able to see this this name and this name should be equal and this name and your res, result what what is the result this is a result do math is nothing but is a result okay nothing but but a result it is a output the output variable only single output can be declared okay you can able to see here only single output out an output declaration is not defined at all but you have your you, you will never see an output declaration you can able to see here that is the output kind of variable but here never you will be finding an output kind of thing here only the do math is nothing but your output okay so do math I have do math both I have highlighted it okay you can able to see both I have highlighted it and that will be returning to here and that will be your result w result so hope these two examples will be cleared for you and by the seeing these two examples you can differentiate what is a task and what is a function kind of thing okay so make it clear task and a function if not you see my video from first again again or you save it you download it you can do anything right so let us let us see some distinction nothing but 
differences between a task and a function. A task contains timing control statements. As usual, I told you, hashtag, uh, hash, <laughs> at the rate, at the rate of positive job clock. Those kind of things are, it can contain, but in a function, only one simulation time unit is done. Function can enable other tasks and other functions also, as usual, I told you, and here it can't do it. Okay, task can have zero or more arguments in any type, input or output, but here in function, at least one input should be present. Okay, that is a, uh, that's the main difference. Okay, a task doesn't return any value, but in a function, it returns a single value, which I have told you, which I have shown in an example clearly. If you like my videos and if you like my projects, then you can buy, always you can buy at vivahasha.com website, which is a popular website for your BTEC mini and major projects. You can always buy to it. So this is at last, this is my ending of my video. Hope other videos I will be bringing for you soon. For seeing this kind of videos, you can subscribe my channel and also for buying any projects, you can always go to visit https vivahasha.com or if there is no project present, just comment below. I will be making for you or you can mail me at vhdllanguage at the rate of gmail.com. Okay. My all mail IDs will be present in my description. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.